My name is Billy Lyons. I'm a uh, owner, partner, manager out at the Mapes Ranch, Lyons Investments, uh, west of Modesto. There's a trial up north, one down south, and we'd be kind of here in the Central Valley. Uh, the difference between our trial is we put a uh, independent self-pollinating uh, variety on a dwarfing rootstock. Uh, I believe the other trials are using other conventional varieties. Our spacing's uh, uh, 12 by 4, so that puts us at a little over 900 trees of the acre. And the whole idea is to uh, get away from uh, pruning with labor. We're all trying to mechanize everything. Uh, right now we're just hedging and topping, and as you can see, uh, the trees go straight up, and that uh, enables us to get the over-the-row modified olive harvester uh, to harvest the almonds. As the years go by, we're, we're going to modify the harvester to hopefully get a little bigger and uh, shape the trees according to the modifications of the harvester. Last year was our, our, our second year, and our first harvest, so we did around 500 pounds of the acre. This year would be our uh, third year, second harvest, and uh, we're hoping to reach that 1,800 to 2,000 pounds per acre. We've had some folks come out here and do some tree counts and uh, we're real confident that uh, we'll get there. You harvest all at once so we're bringing in the big uh, over the row harvester. We're able to do it at one time. One guy driving the harvester and then one guy driving the grape gondola where uh, if you were conventional you'd have to have uh, multiple guys come in with multiple equipment. We're considering maybe a, a food safety a benefit there. With the nuts not hitting the ground, you're actually catching them. Uh, we're also, with the smaller root zone, with a dwarfing root stock, possibly plant the trees uh, where there's a high water table. Possibly you're, you're going to use less water because there's a smaller root zone and be more consistent with your fertilizers getting right to that root zone. Uh, there are some challenges that we're working out. Obviously this is a pilot project and we're going to try and address those. Uh, one of the big concerns is getting the nuts off dry enough that we can go straight to the hauler. Um, and we'll, we'll have to let you know how that goes uh, later down the road. Last year and this year seem to be successful. We're going to just keep pushing and keep going. Uh, really, the orchard is a success. It's uh, the harvester and, and, uh, and the grower that need to uh, learn to adapt to something like this.